Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of PM Babasan Academy and where you can find the most probable MCQs ever. And today is our topic about biodiversity of plants versus animals. This topic is very very common in for the entrances like OSTET, TGT, PGT, PG entrances, OABS entrances, all CPET entrances. In each and every entrances, the very common topic is about biodiversity. So let's start our main theories about biodiversity. Usually biodiversity refers to the diversity or variability of living organisms present on this planet and other species which are also extinct in millions years of ago. The term biodiversity is also referred to as the biological diversity which mainly denotes the total number of different living species living within a particular region including microbes that may be plants, fungi, viruses, plants, animals, ecosystems uh, like coral reefs, forest, rainforest, deserts. These are all the biodiversity or biological diversity. That means the living organisms or the living diversity refers to the biodiversity. So, biodiversity every single living species has equally important role in this ecosystem and the term biodiversity was first coined by Walter G. Rosen in the year 1986. This is very important. Please remember it. The word or the term biodiversity was first coined by the scientist Walter G. Rosen in the year 1986. As we all know, the term biodiversity refers to the measure of the variety of living species also existing in this different ecosystem and this may either refer to the ecosystem variation or the genetic variation or the species variation within a region or a biome or a planet. What is biome? In a particular region, if a particular type of species are living, then it is called the biome. Like uh, in our uh, village. In our village, a particular type of animals are living. So, to according to these animals or according to biome, if we are studying about only these animals which are living in our village is known as biome. So, biome is to study about the particular type of animals which are living in a particular area is called biome. Overall, the biodiversity on land tend to be the richest in the tropical region and greater near the equator. And it is mainly because of the warm climate and high primary productivity. And this biodiversity can be studied at many levels. At highest level, we study the different species existing on this entire earth and on more smaller scale we can study mainly about different species within a pond or within a neighborhood garden. Discovering or identifying understanding the various relationships between all living organisms on this planet earth are some of the greatest challenges in the science and science discovered the variety types of organisms variety types of animals who are living in this earth and this is this distribution of animals this distribution of plants is called biodiversity and our biodiversity is distinguished in two terms one is is plant diversity and another one is animal diversity. It is simply the collection of floras. Plants are otherwisely known as floras. So the collection of floras within a specific area or within a specific environment is called plant diversity. Each of such flora differs in species composition, physical attributes and contributions to the ecosystem in which they exist. That means variety types of plants, variety types of species and according to their physical or morphological structure, they functions one plant is differ from another plant and these different types of plants are present in different different region of our earth and this plant is known as plant diversity this distribution of plants is known as plant diversity like that the different different types of faunas faunas means animals floras refers to the plants diversity and faunas refers to the animal diversity these are the most important terms we have to remember these terms floras and faunas so floras distribution of floras is plant diversity and distribution of faunas is called animal diversity like the plants different different types of animals who have different physical attribute who have different structure different function different composition 
दे हैव द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट्स और डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हु हैव लिविंग इन दिस आर्थ as they are living on the variety uh, parts of the earth and they are known as animal diversity only the uh, composition of or the distribution of animals are known as animal diversity and the distribution of plants is known as plant diversity so let's see details about diversity of plants the diversity of plants on the planet earth is an important resource for food shelter and agriculture about thousands of plant crop species have been identified developed used and relied on for the purpose of food and agricultural production in human history these plants includes bushes grasses herbs shrubs trees vines ferns and mosses through this process of photosynthesis plants provides us with the oxygen which we breathe and can sugars that provide for the primary fuel of our life through the photosynthesis plant makes its own food and we are dependent for the food from plants so plants provides us oxygen plants provides us foods and for plants we are living or without plants we cannot live in entire ecosystem currently there are only a few crop species which provide us food and essential energy requirements for total human population all around the world the crops include which are the main products of our life like rice wheat maize cereals and pulses and as per the requirement on this moderately smaller number of crops for usual food security it will be essential to maintain a continuity of these plant species along with the increasing environmental stress and to provide opportunities for the farmers to breed more amount of crops that can be cultivated under unfavorable conditions like poor soil salinity drought uh, flooding and extreme temperatures biodiversity in animal means distribution of different different species of animals among inside the world and this is known as biodiversity biodiversity of animals this plays a vital role in food safety and also in maintaining rural development yes its management has been terrible there have been a lot of animals that have gone extinct over the past few years and it's is a matter of the great sorrow these animals are extinct just because of cutting down of trees use of excess amount of things which are unnecessary for that reason most of the animals gone extinct over the past few years let's say what are the functions of biodiversity there are mainly four functions of biodiversity several functions of biodiversity are there but main four functions are serve as food source ensuring food security second function is they act as natural sources for medicine they helps to stabilize land against erosion they facilitates the degradation of weeds and what are the threats to biodiversity habitat losses if the biodiversity habitat losses then what happen invasive species and diseases deforestation pollution overpopulation over exploitation of species climate change these are the threats to biodiversity habitat losses and these are about the flora as well as distribution of plants distribution of animals and all about the conceptual things of biodiversity plants versus animals so let's see our mcq parts this is the very very important part which are most important for ostet exam tgt pgt like cht oavs and transcends and for for cpet common pg entrance test so let's see our mcqs part 